Hey there guys and welcome back to Ben 10. You've one-upped me for the last time, Ben Tennyson. I did what to the who now? You know exactly what you've done. You've ruined my career. You've ruined my life. And when I defeat you, everyone will cheer my name. You're a jealous superhero and that's your shtick, yada yada. So, boss fight Captain Nemesis and he is laughably easy. Just look at his health meter, look at it go. Look at it go, not right now because I'm not hitting him, but there we go, that fight did not last for like 20 seconds or something. There's only room for one hero, and that's me! Oh. <laughs> ah shit. Okay, back down into the catacombs I'm guessing. <sighs> Just my luck. All right, let's get that thing in. Ah, oh, fuck, Siphon. How the hell did he get here? And why am I not seeing him? He doesn't have that big of a lead on me. Eh, oh, well, we'll get him eventually. Oh, that's a lot of robots. And still the Spartans? Why are they f even fighting me? Like, whose side are they on? Or are they just... The typical, like, guardians, like, you're, you're in my tomb and I will not stop until you're dead or something. Doesn't really explain why they were also fighting me out on the streets. Ooh, nice special there. Little swamp gas and then make it explode. That's kind of swamp fire's shtick, what he does. Oh, you're gonna shoot laser at me? Here, have some fireballs. Oh, that actually killed him. Nice. Okay, you will die. I will stomp on you and spit on your grave if you were not a robot. Robots don't have graves because they get scrapped and then they get melted down to spare parts or turned into new robots. So yeah, actually being a robot's pretty good. You never die. You only get destroyed, but you'll always be rebuilt as another robot. Uh, Terra Spin. Alright, get that thing open with Armadrillo, probably that great... Yeah, the gate over there. Alrighty. Jump down here. And jump, jump, hover. Alright, easy enough. Still not seeing Siphon anywhere. I hope this doesn't take as long as getting to the Captain Nemesis boss fight. Alright, what do we have here? Another turning room? More loading? I oh, really haven't run into that much loading. What's up with this level and being so heavy on the load screen? Uh, can I make that jump? Oh, barely. Jesus, Armadrillo, you're a crappy jumper. Alright, let's go and explore that cavern first. And I'm not using Armadrillo for jumping ever again. I mean, that almost went wrong there. I have no clue what's down there, but it's probably not a good thing. Gate open. Alright, Armadrillo, let's roll. The red platform. Is that thing actually floating over the lava, or is it just some sort of mechanism underneath that we can't really see? Oh crap, I think you need to go there, actually. See a lever. And that lever probably gets that door open. Exactly. Gotta love the obvious level design. Like, most of these puzzles are so incredibly obvious, it's not even funny anymore. Okay. Well, those rocks are unbreakable. I see a Terra Spin ramp. And... Okay, we unlocked a door somewhere. Haven't run into that yet, I wonder where it is. Ooh. Okay, they're apparently pulling off some evil Knievel stuff here. Just be careful about the flames, and go. Yeah. I can do that too, Evil Knievel, and I don't even need a motorcycle for it. I just need a giant alien turtle. Alright. Oh, that's that door we just unlocked. But I happen to know from an earlier playthrough that you need to unlock two locks for it to open. And I need to get to that thing. I'm not using Armadrillo again. It's too d risky. I mean, you'd think he'd be a bit of a better jumper. I know he's big and heavy, but that was just pathetic. 
I think even Humongosaur can jump better than that. Humongosaur is bigger and probably heavier as well. Alright, more Armadrillo action here. Lots of these bridges, like how did the ancient Romans even turn these? Or maybe the aliens that lived underneath ancient Rome. I mean, hey, it's a valid theory. Of course, it's never been confirmed in any of the Ben 10 shows, but why not? Aliens are among us in the Ben 10 continuity, at least. I'm a little iffy on the whole do aliens actually exist thing. Whoa, there we go, made it. Because, uh... I don't think it's impossible that there isn't any alien life out there. I mean, we don't even have a clue how big the universe is. And I think it's... I think we don't really have a right to say that we are the only things out there because it's very well possible that there is other life in the universe, but it's just so far away that there is no way we'll ever run into each other. I, mean, I think that may just be the case, that there is alien life out there somewhere, but we're just never going to run into each other because we're so far away. I mean, what, we can't even make it out of our own galaxy yet. Let alone cross over into other universes. Maybe sometime in the distant future. Oh, loading again. Whoa! Okay, should have hovered. I made it. Doesn't matter. Alright, now that the door's probably open, let's just do that. And of course, the thing only rotates one way. I mean, sure would have been nice if we could have just turned it counterclockwise one doorway, but now we have to turn it clockwise and do it three doorways. Eh, well, wonder how Siphon did all of this. I mean, if he even went this way. Save point, okay, that usually means that there's something about to happen that could get you killed. Boss fight, perhaps? Would be nice. Kind of swift, though. Like only about seven minutes after the Captain Nemesis fight. Uh, probably gonna have something important here. Ooh. Benjamin Tennyson. You have caused me far more trouble than you're worth. I don't know about that, man. I'm pretty valuable. Oh, five seconds? What the hell? Uh, I don't really... Oh, those are bombs! And of course, Terraspin can grab the goddamn ledge. Okay, at least now that I know what I'm supposed to be doing here, I can probably do it. So this bomb is gonna destroy this platform, and you just have to get the hell away from there before the things go off. Alright, good swamp fire, get me up there. And I'm probably running way ahead of the bombs already. Let's say I'm about two platforms ahead. Oop, going up. Oh, there he goes. Siphon, you're not getting away from me that easily. Alright, that was actually pretty easy once they got the hang of it. I am here to take the pieces of the Potus Altiari from you and deliver them to my master. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Nope, not gonna happen, pal. Does Ben even have the pieces on him at all times, or does he just leave him in the plane? Would be pretty stupid to take all of them with you when you don't really need them. But then again... Didn't they say that all the pieces were power-enhancing? So... In theory, how many pieces do we have right now? We have the one from Paris and... Uh, Wyoming... Tokyo, China... Oh no, we, we destroyed the one in Tokyo. Uh, South America, so we have four. Four pieces. And that is... Uh, that probably boosts Ben's power up quite a, much, quite a bit. But I'm guessing he's not keeping them with him. And this boss fight, exactly what are we doing here? I know there's 
these things, we need to use the fireballs on them, but I'm kind of iffy about the timing and stuff. I think we need to do it in siphons near them. But he's kind of dropping... Oh, there we go. Okay, that's... He's supposed to hit one of them when he's near him. That's good to know. Now, let's just wrap this up and get a move on because we still have that evil way big to beat. Come on, Siphon, get near the thing. Oh, come on, I totally got him there. Uh, so, yeah, it's still a little vague on exactly when... Oh, there we go. Alright, Siphon's done for. Silly boy. You truly have no idea what or whom you're dealing with. Yeah, I do. We're dealing with Siphon, pathetic alien flunky who apparently does not have enough backbone to make his own decisions and thus blindly follows other people. No one likes a follower, Siphon. Just get a job of your own. I mean, he's pretty strong. He's got all these robots and lasers and stuff. He could start like a villain business of his own. Anyway, he's much easier in the second phase. He's just pretty much standing still with a shield around him, but just shoot some fireballs at it, break through it easily enough, and then just break out whoever you want and beat the crap out of him. I personally prefer Terra Spin because Terra Spin really hits way faster than he should be able to if you've maxed out his attacking speed or something. I mean, look at him go. Those are some blinding wing slaps right there. Although I guess they're not really wings, because they're his arms. And he can actually, like, make fingers pop out of that, strangely enough. He does it in a couple of episodes of the cartoon, and it looks really, really weird. Anyway, Siphon's done. You've had this coming for a long, long time, Siphon! Altiari, Ben Tennyson, or else Earth will be destroyed! Ooh, that's not good. So tomorrow, the finale of Ben 10 Ultimate Alien Cosmic Destruction. Thanks for watching, and bye bye